All right, early morning strategies for your baby, part two. We are talking about Winter's Mama. Oh crap, my it's my fault. Um, let's talk about that. Look, I'm a big fan of if it's not a problem for you, it's not a problem for me, and I don't care how you sleep. However, we can't ignore the connection of behaviors and sleep. Meaning that if you are the coolest, most best person on the planet and we're offering something really rewarding to a child like bedtime snuggles, a breastfeed, a bottle feed, a pacifier, something really easy for them to fall back to sleep, then they are going to continue to wake for that. Now, I, I'm not being a judgy bitch when I say that. I don't care how people sleep. I say that, and if you're like, well, it helps me, and it gets me two hours of sleep, I don't care, then you should continue to do that. But for those who are really struggling with the early mornings, maybe you're not showing up for your kid, maybe you're grumpy, maybe you're cranky, maybe your job is being impacted, then you may want to start to consider the possible rewards that your child is experiencing when they wake up at 5, 4.30 in the morning. And then we're going to want to pull back on those rewards to make sure that the child is not expecting a certain thing when they wake up. So not your fault, absolutely no judgment, but if you want to change, that's where I would start.